It'll be the Celtics off the tip. And let's take a look at Boston's starting lineup. Allen on the wing. Here's the three. Now with a rebound. Here's McGrady. Allen defending. Boom! He jams it straight down. Woo! He, he just levitated in the air, double pumped, and then slammed it home. How about the D right there? They just got out of the way. They let him choose what kind of move he wanted to make. Here's Rondo. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Throughout his career, Rondo has amazed us with some of his handles and, of course, the court vision. The show isn't over yet. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. The aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Pass to McGrady. Here's Alston. Six on the shot clock. Now, good. Just a much smaller defender on him. He does the exact thing at the right moment. Goes straight to the rim. Outside, Rondo. Here's Pierce. And that one's off. He misses his first shot of the game. Here's Austin. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Basket counts. I mean, what do you expect when you give him the clear look? That's just too easy. No, he's automatic from the mid-range, and the defense knows that. It's a mistake to give up a shot like that. Here's Alston. Pass to Yao. Lays it up and banks it in. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Now here's Rondo. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Now orchestrating right now. Rondo should be playing with a baton. There's the screen. Pass to Yao. Here's Scola. And it's blocked. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Here's Pierce. Now Allen. And here's Rondo. Three-pointer. Kept alive by Boston. Garnett no good. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. And he converts the layup. And defensively, you have to make him work harder than this, or it's going to be a long night. Outside, Rondo. Pass to Pierce. Using his post moves to get the two points. Didn't want to settle for something going away from the basket. Aggressive with a finger roll. Here's Alston. Checked by Rondo. The Celtics making a switch here. First team foul. In for the Celtics. PJ. Here's McGrady. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. And the first one at the line is good. Both teams will make substitutions. He does not get the second one. Boston trailing. Here's Cassell. There's a screen. Uses the glass to finish the layup. That kind of looks like a predictable shot, one that they want. The defense has to prevent the ball from getting into that sweet spot. Here's McGrady. Allen defending. Here's Novak. 
And he buries his first look. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. 127 left in the first. And that one's good. Cassell. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Timeout called. Houston. And it's a completely new group for the Rockets. One fourteen left in the first quarter. Here's Yao. And that one is stuffed right through. How about the bounce? <laughs> we can call that bounce per ounce. Can't be denied. 105 left to play in the first. Pass to Allen. With the floater. It's no good on the shot. Now the Rockets take it the other way. Here's Francis. Inside. Here's Scola. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Here's Cassell. Pass to Brown. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Houston in the lead. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Alston. Here's the pick. Here's Yao. Six to shoot. Chalk up two there. He's got ten. If you give him any sort of space, he's going to attack. Here's Cassell. Oh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And he knocks down the first one. So he gets them both. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Good scoring in this one as we conclude the first quarter. The Rockets on top, up five. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Houston. They've done a great job establishing an inside presence. Now, that'll open up more options offensively throughout the remainder of the game. Well, one thing standing out right now is just how fearless everybody is in getting to the inside. They're taking advantage of any lane or angle they get to get after them. Here's McGrady. Allen defending. Pass to Scola. Here's McGrady. Clock at six. Second shot opportunity. And he banks in the layup. We see this every night. He has the skill and versatility to keep a defense guessing. Boston with a ball. Seven-point differential. So the Celtics five right now. And there's a pick. Here's Pierce. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. First personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Boston. Kevin Durant. The line for two. And he makes a first. Both shots good from the strike. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Here's Alston. Checked by Rondo. And the layup falls. He's got six. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Outside, Rondo. Pass to Allen. Just five to shoot. 
Back to Rondo. Now here's Allen from behind the arc. No good. And that makes him 0 for 3. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Ooh, what a tough PA. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Here's Perkins. Here's Pierce. And it's Battier with a rebound. Here's McGrady. Allen defending. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. That'll be a move to remember. Wow. Yeah, great creativity in the air. Timeout called. The Celtics. He's checked in for Allen. So it's Boston now. They trail by 11. Quarter two and about two minutes in. Pass to Pierce. The Rockets pull it in. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. The NBA last season celebrated its 75th anniversary and announced the 75 greatest players in NBA history, gathering the living greats during the All-Star break. A lot of history, but Commissioner Silver said, we're a pretty young league when you think about it. Brian, I guess it's all relative. Yeah, indeed. Thanks for that, Allie. Clock at four. Here's McGrady. Late clock. Houston's got to hurry. Alston. No good from outside. And it's a Celtics ball. 11-point game. Pass to Rondo. Out to the right wing. Here's Pierce. Austin again missing. Surprising to see him miss here. But they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Here's McGrady. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Pass to House. Here he goes. Count it. One for one to start the game. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Here's McGrady. 11 points in the game. Here's Alston. The ball's knocked loose. 13 feet out. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Yao's shot is off. Here's Pierce. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Now a timeout called by Houston. So both teams making some changes here. Here's Head. In the first half. Two minutes. 156 left in the second quarter. Brooks outside. Down low. The shot by Landry. No good. They're looking to trim the deficit to single digits. Outside. Rondo. And there's the screen. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Uh, although he's a bit smaller, Rondo knows he's got to outthink guys on the interior. And that time, drew the contact. Two shots. And so he hits both. And here's Brooks. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. 124 left in the second period. 
Uh, catching the lead pass at full speed, terrific anticipation, and the delivery on time, on target. Pass to Cassell. Brown with a screen. Here's Garnett. Six on the shot clock. Rondo. And he can't connect. He's one for three in this game. And it's Houston's ball. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Inside. It's tipped. And out of bounds. Boston will have it. Allen, he's checked in for Boston. Two for the Celtics. Three. 46 seconds left in the first half of this one. To the wing on the left. Pass to Cassell. They set the pick. Over Brooks. For three, Allen. And after missing his first three shots, he drains it. One for four. Willing passers. Unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. They get it back. To the right side. Here's Posey. And they get it back. Here's Cassell. Driving to the basket. And he lays it up and in. Give him eight points now. He got it off in time. And so it's the Houston Rockets with a six-point lead. Your Rockets, 33, the Celtics, 27, and by your Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. And it's the Rockets with the ball. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Here's McGrady. Allen defending to the middle. Pass to McGrady. Shot clock at six. Here's Yao. Oh, it's stolen. So the Celtics five right now. Here's Garnett. And he gets that one. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Houston in the lead. Here's McGrady. 11 points in the game. And so it looks like it'll be Houston's ball. Off the inbound. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. I'll tell you what. It's good to be his age. Yeah. I don't have memories like that at my age, though. <laughs> Here's Pierce. On the take. Banked it in off the glass. Pierce. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Pass to It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through their high basketball IQ play. Right wing. Here's Garnett. And it's Boston scoring again. Ooh, that's a great matchup for him just because of the size difference right there. He makes that mid-range shot at a very high percent. Here's Alston. He has six. Left side, Rondo. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. Houston with the ball. They lead by four. To the inside. Here's Yao. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. First team foul. At the line for Houston. 
First free throw is good. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Jackson is checked in. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Here's Pierce. Off with the layup. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. At the line for Houston. And he drops the first. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Boston trailing. Here's Pierce. Here's the teardrop. It's deflected. Tipped. Jackson on the wing. Allen defending. Here we go. One on one. The three ball. Hits the trifecta. He has seven. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Now a timeout called by Houston. Celtics making a switch here. Davis has checked in. Here's McGrady. He's got 13. Count it. The defender is called for the block, and he could turn this into a three-point play. Bad idea leaving him open. He needs more defensive attention, not less. And it's the Celtics ball. They trail by seven. Here's Pierce. He has seven. Offline with a three. Pass to Alston. Here's Battier. Shot clock at five. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And it's a nine-point Houston lead. Since halftime, they have been efficient and effective, making Coach very happy. Well, the thing is they're controlling the pace right now, and if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they've carried it out. For three, Allen. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Allen's got six. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Pass to Matumbo. Here's Battier. Here's McGrady. Allen defending. Here's McGrady. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Rockets? They've been all about high percentage looks in this game, working the ball inside and doing whatever it takes to get it to go. It'd be interesting to go back through this film in particular and see if there was an emphasis to get that ball down low, get it in the paint tonight. They've done that. It's paid off. Not getting old here, seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Pass to Poe. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. The first free throw is good. Brown, he's checked in for Davis. Now 
That one's no good. Houston in the lead. Here's Alston. He has six. To the paint. Here's Yao. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Second personal foul. Fifth team foul. And he knocks down the first one. Both good from the line that time. 50 seconds left in the third. Pass to Posey. It's Brown on the wing. Here's Poe. Out to the right wing. Here's Cassell. Give him eight. Just four to shoot. Pulls it. And that one's long. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Now the Celtics on the move. Allen can't get it to go. Here's Novak to the inside. Alston lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Give him eight. You just can't give up looks that close to the rim. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. When a player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. And for the Celtics. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. They'll pin that one on Rajon Rondo. That's there. Here's Allen. To the left wing. Here's Pierce. Sinks it from distance. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. They're pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Always impressive when a smaller player has a nose for the ball and rises up amongst the taller ones to grab rebounds. Now here's Rondo. Tight defense on him. Allen can't get it to go. Allen's gone just two of seven from the floor here. Here's Austin. Pass to McGrady. Up and in on the layup. He's got 19. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. To the middle. Here's Garnett. It's tipped. Here's Alston. Allen defending. Alston with a bucket. That's why you keep your head up. If the assist is there, you can pounce. Here's Pierce. And Alston calls time here. Oh, my. Their coach does not look happy. And I can guess why. Their interior defense has been struggling. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game. Hey, <laughs> guess what? This was his game all night. I mean, he tore through the defense and almost never took a bad shot out there. Really, a level of offensive consistency most players can only dream of. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy. And it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers' huddle. He did everything he could to fire the team up, saying, quote, I don't care how far down we are. We can do this. Attack and take what's ours. Let's go out there and show them it's not over. Thank you for that, Allie. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. 
Doesn't go for him. So Houston will take it the other way. Here's Battier. It's hauled in by Garnett. And the Celtics in possession here. 11-point game. Pass to Perkins. Back to Rondo. Over to the left wing. Six on the shot clock. Here's Perkins. From deep. That shot missing. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Here's McGrady. They set a pick. Collects the two points near the hoop. 23 points in the game. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. The rebounding numbers make it obvious why they're in front. Well, every time the shot goes up, guys are doing a nice job of finding bodies and making sure there's room to collect the rebound. Off target from three-point range. Boston on offense. Trailing by 13. Pierce can't get to it. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Pass to Yao. Tipped away. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. Outside, Rondo. Allen a screen. Here's Garnett. Shot to end the cold streak. Yao with a rebound. A minute 58 left in the fourth quarter of this one. A good look from Allen. Here's Garnett. Rips it home off a terrific move. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Timeout called. Houston. They're on top by 11. 146 left to play in the fourth. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. One forty-six left to play in the fourth. Pass to Matumbo. And that one is hammered home! Woo! <laughs> B.A., that's lit. Ferocious all the way. Man, that was good. Boston on offense. It's a 13-point game. Here's Rondo. Here's Garnett. Man, that one's good with extra effort on the glass. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Down low. Brady. And he dunks it down. That's the guy they're going to keep going to as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. There's a minute 17 left in the fourth quarter. Garnett, that's good. Yeah, that's one way to get back into this game. Keep getting him the ball and let him make the shots. Here's Jackson. And a nice finish on the layup. And the Rockets lead by 13. They've been battling all night. Now they're on the brink of putting this game away. No, great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort from the squad. From the high post. That one off the back iron and out. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area, and the defense gets away with one there. The shot won't fall, and it's Boston the other way. Inside, here's Pierce, and he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. And a good passing in the paint may be even more important to an offense than great passing on the perimeter. Those are areas where you got to be careful. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's McGrady. Pass to Landry. Shoots over Allen. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That free throw, no good. The line for Houston. Carl Landry. Good on the second one. 
He did enough to put this one away. Just a hard fought battle. Here's Cassell. Nice shot from 10 feet out. The defense kind of opened up for him, and he took full advantage. Here's McGrady. That one goes in. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. And so Houston takes this one by a big margin. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor. And they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off. So long, everyone.